Hello friends, welcome back. Uh, in this session, I'm going to give you complete insights about how do we prepare for operating systems in terms of interview or even for getting yourself uh, um, upskilled. That's what I could call it as. Uh, I got this question recently from one of my subscribers. Sir, can you please help me out with uh, the uh, method or, uh, or with the content that can help me out in uh, preparing for operating systems? So I have been teaching you a lot of content on the OS side. Now this time I will tell you how to prepare for it. I thought it's very important and thanks to the one who asked me this question. First, you need to choose the operating system for the practical purposes. You need to try out everything practically when it comes to OS and it is not a theoretical content. You have to try. So please have a hands-on experience. You can install Ubuntu in your machine and even you can have it as an application in your machine. So I have given the link for the same. You can refer to this link and install Ubuntu as an application over your windows. Now you need to start with the commands. So I prefer you to go ahead with Ubuntu or any sort of Linux variants because Linux is something that I feel is the complete core operating system which has got all the features for you which can help you in understanding the complete crux of it. So go behind Linux, it will help you. I have given you the commands here. So I have given you all the commands tested and you can go through it one by one. Try it out in your machine and that's the next level. And then you can come to the core topics. First we have to start with the process. How do we create a process? When a process is created? How a file becomes a process? How do we get the process ID created? Uh, how can we track the process ID? What is the process control block? How do you kill a process? What is a foreground process? What is a background process? How do you schedule? What is deadlock? What is daemon? All these should be learnt very very clearly. So these all will make it a very, uh, a very, very complete learning with respect to a process. Then you can move on to thread. What is thread? How is thread different from process? Uh, where do you use threads and where you can go for other options? How do you execute thread code? Uh, how do you track threads? All these things will come in into thread. And then go to memory. Uh, do not be in a rush. This itself will take at least 15-20 days for you to understand the process related content. When you have to learn it completely, you have to learn it really completely. Do not go on a very rough level learning. You have to go uh, with a complete learning and I believe that it needs at least 15 days for you to understand all this. And then thread together if you see you need at least 3-4 weeks of time for you to complete this. So don't be in a hurry. And then comes the memory. Uh, learn about main memory. Why do we need RAM? Uh, what happens when you compile a code and when you run a code? What is the impact of RAM there? Then go to virtual memory. And again, I'm telling you, do not be a, a person who learns things in hurry. You have to go deeper into virtual memory. Why do we need it? What happens when you use virtual memory? And then go to paging, swapping, fragmentation and cache memory. Types of cache, all those things can be additional bonus. If you learn that as well, you can definitely crack the interview. So main memory, virtual memory, paging, swapping, fragmentation, disk defragmentation concepts supported in your operating system that you are learning with. All those things are going to be very, very useful for you. Then come to the storage uh, and miscellaneous. I'm going to include everything out here. Uh, file types, what are all the files supported in file types supported in Linux or whatever operating system you have chosen. Everything is a file in operating system, right? So you need to understand the file system architecture. Uh, how do you mount a file? How do you unmount a file? The complete file system hierarchy, which file systems can be accessed by you, which file systems require special access permissions. All these are to be learned incomplete and IO related content is security. How is your operating system secure? Uh, special purpose systems are there as well. So how are you going to use them? Once you learn these four categories, uh, first it starts with process, then it goes on to thread, then memory, then storage and miscellaneous and you can then go ahead with the interview questions. I'll give you the link for that as well. You can learn the voice related interview questions from that and I think with the uh, effort of about say uh, 40 days, you can learn all of this very clearly and it would make you really comfortable in Linux and operating system related interviews as well as exams. I hope it was useful. I will copy paste this entire content in the description section so that you can refer it. In case you have any questions, please go ahead and ask me. I will be very happy to answer. Thank you.